time has come for repentance and the time has come for us to preach the gospel don't be asleep arise and awaken don't be lazy be full of life will you accept it or will you reject it or will you smile each problem that we have a solution is always in the wrong way if you want to silence your enemies give and watch what the Lord will do time has come for repentance and the time has come for us to preach the gospel don't be asleep arise and awaken don't be lazy be full of life will you accept it or will you reject it or will you smile each problem that we have a solution is always get in the wrong way if you want to silence your enemies give and watch what the Lord will do. time has come for repentance and the time has come for us to preach the gospel don't be asleep arise and awaken don't be lazy be full of life will you accept it or will you reject it or will you smile each problem that we have a solution is always get in the wrong way if you want to silence your enemies give and watch what the Lord will do. Hello and good evening everyone. Thank you for joining. I'm Pastor Dr. Michelle Liston from Restoration World Outreach Ministries. And you are live with Revelation Time. This is the program that speaks about the end time issues and all the things that are affecting us in our everyday life. Things that we have read about, we see it happening all around us. But in the Bible, there is a biblical connection that we need to make so we know where we're at and what we need to do in preparation for the return of the Lord and also in preparation to get those souls that we need to get for God. And more importantly, it's for us to know and understand what's happening, why it's happening, and how everything fits into the grand scheme of things. So I'm so thankful that you have joined, and I invite you to share it, because if there's anyone who wants to really understand what's happening, the prophetic and, and, and all the signs that we're seeing, and what's happening in our world, to know why it's happening, and what we need to do, connect them. Share this revelation time. Pastor Michelle Liston here. Dr. Steve Liston will be joining me shortly. And so as we uh, go into this program, and I want to thank you all for joining. I see you on. God bless you all. Um, we're talking about the signs of the times tonight. Amen. And there are so many things that are happening. We are seeing um, with regard to finance, with regard to family, with regard to every area, every aspect of our life, uh, socially, uh, ministerially, politically, all those areas, they affect us all. And the church is not exempt from any of it. Yes. And so we as the people of God and also those who have not yet given their lives to the Lord, we all need to know what's going on, why it's happening, and how we need to, to, to stand and to be in this time. Uh, we, let us begin um, going into the Word of God. And we're looking at Matthew chapter 24. 
And as we look at that, Matthew chapter 24, Matthew chapter 25, the book of Revelation, many people are afraid to even begin to open those chapters and read it. The book of Daniel, sometimes people are afraid to look at that. But don't be afraid to read the word of God as it concerns the things that are happening in our world today. Because uh, what God has done is that he has put these things in his word so that we could know and understand. Remember that the secret of the Lord is in them that fear him. And so even solutions can come out of this for what's happening in our world today. So we don't need to be afraid. We need to embrace what's there. And ultimately we know who gets defeated and who wins. Amen. So Matthew chapter 24. And let us look at this um, in verse Verse 2, let's start at verse 2. Uh, why not start at verse 1? Let's go. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said to them, See you not all these things? Verily I say to you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us, when shall all these things be? And what shall be the sign of your coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said to them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. And shall deceive many. We are seeing that happen in our world today. Amen. Okay. And it says. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and it shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end shall be saved. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations. And then shall the end come. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso reads, let him understand. And I'm going to pause it right there because what we need to, to recognize is that the Lord has given us in his word yet another uh, a tool that we can employ as Christians uh, if we truly desire to serve God, if we truly desire to, to do as he would want us to do, that our purpose be fulfilled, that his will be done in the earth, and that the things, that the everlasting life that we desire to have become reality for us. We have to take heed and ensure, as he says, that we are not deceived. That we, with the, the way that we know we cannot be deceived, how, we, how is it that we're going to avoid that? Deception is everywhere. But the word of God is what we have to hold on to. That's our sword that cuts away at the lies and at the deceptions that will help us to have a stronger relationship with God. That we are able to, to ignore, walk past, walk away from the wiles of the enemy. We hear silver-tongued people speak every day. Words that drip off their tongues like gold. All deception. 
the truth of God is what we use to be able to identify the counterfeit and the real. It's important for us these days especially to recognize that we have the responsibility to really stand in our Christian in our Christian walk. We have to really walk the walk. We can't pretend about it. The word of God helps us to walk the real walk. The word of God helps us to have a stronger relationship with him so that we can hear from him when he's speaking to know what to do in the times we need to move and what not to do when we need to stand still, we stand still. The word of God is here not to scare us, but to help us. And so with all the things that are happening around us in our world today, we want to ensure that we are equipped as we ought to be so that we can stand, endure to the end, that we be saved, according to the word of God. Amen? And so, as we look at the different things that are happening, you know, we look at the earthquakes in the different places, we look at, and some of those are close to home. We look at the fires that have been happening. Now, what we're talking about isn't just what's happening in the last month or two. It's been happening probably from some of us were born, that we're coming into this, 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 this time is as if we're coming down to the wire. And so we've been hearing from, from we were children, we've been hearing um, Jesus is coming soon. And we've heard it so many times that maybe some of us have taken it for granted. But every day we get up, we are so much closer to his coming. And so we want to ensure that we are ready for his return and that we also stand against the wiles of the enemy. We will stand in the time that we that everything may be falling apart and every you see different people um, even turning away from God, we stand. There is a time coming where apostasy will, will be rampant. We've got to stand. We, we, we may touch on the issue of apostasy. We had, uh, you know, there's so many times we have spoken about that, but we're, we may touch on it today. But I just want you to understand that, that it is important for us to Stand in these last days on the word and on the truth of God. Because it is the truth of God that not only sets us free, but puts us, positions us for eternal life. The word of God. And so, good night, Lady Maureen. Good night, Melissa. I see you, Lady Nora. God bless you. Uh, Sandra, God bless you. Lady Anika, Shuttleworth, God bless you. Mary Lou, I want you to get your Bibles out. I want you to get your notebooks out. I'm encouraging you. Apostle is going to be coming shortly. And we are going to be going into all the things that are happening. I know you may think, hey, this is Bible study as usual. But it's more than that. Because we need to understand what's happening around us. And how the Bible is connected to it all. We have been given an immense and powerful weapon in the word of God. And we need to know how to use it. There are so many things, so many questions that many may have. If you know that there is someone uh, that has questions about even the end times, even the, the things that are happening, what you call the signs of the times, get them connected, share it right now. Amen? Amen. And so hold on to Matthew chapter 24, 1 to 15. You're going to hold on to that one. Amen. And so we're going to get ready to get deeper into the, the signs of the times. This is our topic tonight. We're going to talk about um, some different things. Get, I'm giving you the opportunity to get everybody on and, and share and all these things because it's important. Amen. And when we look, there are some that are very concerned about uh, even reading in the book of Daniel. You know, you, there's some things you may read in the word you don't understand what... What does that mean? What is all of this? You know, so we, we want to get into that. And let us take a quick look. We're going to take a quick look at uh, some scriptures. When we, I want you to take note of Daniel chapter 4 and Daniel chapter 6. Hold on to those. Amen. Because we may touch on that tonight. Because, but we want you to be able to go into the word even after we're done. Go into the word and, 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 and get right into the, 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 the deep things. Amen? Amen. And so we talk about the fact that King Nebuchadnezzar, um, from that time,
King Nebuchadnezzar was having dreams and there were things that the Lord would show Daniel, help him to interpret the dreams and understand the dreams. And of course, Daniel became one of those that those advisors, he was a governor, but he was one of those advisors to the king. And even as we're on the topic of being advisors to the king, there are many nations today that have advisors around them that are leading them down the wrong path. And we as Christians, wherever you are in the world, we have the, 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 the capacity and we have been empowered with that authority to be able to decree, listen, all these advisors leading our kings astray, the presidents and the prime ministers, they need to be removed so that the advisors who can give them truth and give them the, 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 the benefits of godly wisdom will be able to speak in the ear of the king that, that he or of the queen, that he or she will be able to make the right decisions and do right by the people and help us that we all can get to that eternal place. Amen? In God. And so we want to go begin to get into all of these things. Let us look even in uh, Daniel chapter 8. And we're going to just go through some of the things that maybe the things you don't understand fully or want to get more understanding on as apostle comes. Now here is, watch this. Because we're even going to look at dreams and visions. And I'm telling you. Sometimes you dream things and you're wondering, hey, um, what, 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 is, what does my dream mean? And I'm being joined now by Amen. Apostle Dr. Steve Liston. What do my dreams mean? What, what, sometimes I dream some things, I see the sky opening or I see different things happening. Dreams and visions are important. Yes, in these end times because the Lord says he would speak to each and every one of us in dreams and visions. And so I just want to give God thanks. Apostle Steve has joined us. Um, Apostle, we were just going to go into Daniel 8, but I, I want to open the floor for you. Um, what it is that you want to, we were talking, we we're looking at Matthew chapter 24. We read from Amen. 1 to 15. We talked about, we we're looking at the fact that um, these are, we are in times now, the things we're reading in the scriptures, we're seeing happen right now. And we're talking about the, the, the earthquakes in diverse places, the wars and rumors of wars. And that's not the only thing. We talk about the fact that there will be deception. And of course, in comes the issue of apostasy. But there are other things that we want to talk about. And just mm -hmm. getting your appetites wet to see to, to, for you to understand. We're going into some deep places. And it's not, it's not a joke. It's not funny. It's nothing like that. We are talking about some serious stuff that will affect each and every one of us. Our amen, soul. Amen, amen. amen. I just yes, want to give God thanks and praise um, to all our listening listeners. And we just thank the Lord for Revelation time. Amen. And, um, we have been carrying Revelation time for years. And um, yes, yes. You know, today the Lord has been speaking to me mm -hmm. um, that the time clock, right, amen, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. has now adjusted. My amen, God. Amen, amen. If mm -hmm. you realize what is happening globally, mm -hmm. there is mm -hmm. a fight against time. So a lot of Christians may think that we have time. I just mm -hmm. um, want to acknowledge the Holy Spirit. So Thank you, Holy Spirit. For what happened is that we, as we in a new year, um, after a week or two, people begin to get in their comfort, comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And you say it's church as usual. Mm -hmm. And Not at all. it's no longer church as usual. No. This is a time where you must in tune to the Holy Spirit yes. because God has been speaking to his people um, as never before. Some mm -hmm. of you get in dream vision, you are restless and uh, because of what is to come. Mm -hmm. And we have to get um, what we call um, ready. If you mm -hmm. realize there is a, a, a change of the God, a lot of the mm -hmm. general, um, you know, has exactly. gone home. You know, today, one of the greatest Bible teacher, prophecy oh, uh, Bible teacher, um, oh, is gone time. home. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen, Jack Van Impe. Amen. We have um, um, the, the most Rhino Bonky, Bonky, the greatest evangelist. And the Lord said to me, um, this is the last leg. Amen. When there are people running a relay, and they have run their race already. And when they run their race, they just pass the button and Amen. said, finish it. 
Um, so this generation, you know, you know, we're going to finish it and it's going to finish quick because the race is about to end. And um, it was mm -hmm. today the Lord speaking to me about um, in prophecy, um, the end time, um, what we call um, the United States of America in terms of the election that are coming mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, what is happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you look on the election, the Lord is saying that the enemy strategically, you know, for those who are not discerning, mm -hmm. would at times create a problems and then he begin to move in. Mm -hmm. And what happened mm -hmm. is that America, you know, who defend, you know, when they come on to what we call religious right, there is no other country that defend religious right and would spend on evangelism mm -hmm. um, like those within America. And what happened is that the sometime when you are too free, mm. we normally abuse it. And it mm -hmm. was no secret that the enemy want the destruction of America. And because of that, the church has been weakened over the period of time. Because the church has lost focus. It's true. That's and true. their focus is about fame. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. money and power. That is true, Apostle. That and is true. because it's fame, money and power, the enemy has crept in. And what yes. happened is that the enemy always use things like gender, uh -huh. um, sex rights, yes. color, and uh, different things, um, you know, to divide people. Because exactly. people consider race. these as race. Race. Amen but without discerning and that's one, one, one of the problem with, with the, the enemy now when you look in the race that is going on and i, I want all of you to think carefully mm -hmm. never in the history mm -hmm. amen uh, that we find a race where regardless of who win the lord will show me today all right regard i need all of you to watch the democratic race mm -hmm. closely in terms of what is happening mm -hmm. and Regardless of who win, it is the enemy intention to select. Let us say, um, be what you know become the the runner. Let us say the lady become the runner. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. that will go up against whoever from the Republican Party, whether Trump or whatever. We have to pray as mm -hmm. saint because we don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. There is a mm -hmm. impeachment now, and a lot of people. You know, are saying that what going to happen and he will get mm -hmm. two terms. But the only prophecy that cannot fall to the ground is the prophecy that will take place within the end time. Mm -hmm. Now, the enemy can delay and the enemy also can terminate something. Uh -huh. Now, what happened, I think America have just few months to get it right. Yes. <laughs> yeah? Yes, sir. Because what going to happen? going to decide the entire West. Exactly so. The direction of exactly the entire West. Because so. America is the last exactly. defense. Mm -hmm. Because when we look at England, England partially mm -hmm. fall already. It's broken down. It's literally it's broken, broken down. down. Because the enemy mm -hmm. successfully have disrupted the entire yeah. European country. Exactly. Now what happened is that Christians should never get in politics in terms of not, not talking in about the way run. That they have. Not in the way that they have. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. what happened is that the enemy successfully mm -hmm. split the church and divide mm -hmm. the church. Mm -hmm. So what happened is that you now become to select, start to select that particular person versus, versus mm -hmm. that particular person. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly what the enemy want. And it's a distraction. It's a distraction. And it's a divider. So while you are focusing mm -hmm. on one, the enemy begin to creep in. Yeah, man, with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the real agenda. With the real agenda. With the real agenda. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Because you're no longer focusing on God and you're no longer discerning. Exactly. Because most Christians don't know God's will from God's way anymore. So what happened is that we become um, judge and jury. Mm -hmm. And we don't read the Bible and understand that even the same Daniel, God said, he rules mm -hmm. in the affairs of, of men. men. That's right. What it means is that God said, whatever take place, it happened based off of his will. Mm -hmm. Because God of a will in terms of end time prophecy that must come to pass. Exactly. Now, exactly. one of the will is that you have to understand people within a nation that God can allow a bad leader or a good leader to become mm -hmm, head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For leader, his will. Yes. You know, always mm -hmm. fulfill God's purpose. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, when we start as Christians within the body of Christ, mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, the, 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 the very unsaved people mm -hmm. 
are now troubled because they are getting dreams and visions. Exactly. They know something is wrong. I have not seen so many. Exactly. Um, the, the, there are persons from other um, religions, the, the Muslims and different ones, right. that are getting dreams and are getting saved. Exactly. And it's happening even more now right. than before. A amen. So what happened is mm. that Christian is the one, we are the ones who are supposed to show the world mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the way of God. Right. We are the ones supposed to discern. Mm -hmm. But when the enemy removed the discernment mm. of the people, the mass, what happened is that the prayer that is coming before God mm -hmm. yes. is no longer the prayer that he wants. Ah. Because the Christian is now divided, some binding, some loosing, mm -hmm. some praying for one party. Some praying for the next one instead of the will of God. They are not praying the will of God, God because what happened mm. is that Christian want mm. to come against God, that it is not God why a particular leader mm. is in position. Mm. Remember, God put God. The, um, what, 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 what do you call him Nebuchadnezzar for your purpose. Yes, God raised yes. up king during the time for a purpose, even Saul for a purpose, and every leader God put in position. God always said to them, if you will, I will. Exactly. When leaders afraid, afraid, you know, feel mm -hmm. are afraid to do God's will and purpose, oh, what happens is that there are things that is aborted. Exactly, sir. Exactly. And the enemy begin to take whatever. No, what happened? Mm. Watch very closely. That's what the Lord put. Whosoever win the democratic election, mm -hmm. don't watch who going to lead it. Watch who they're going to use as the deputy. Uh oh. Because understand, people, that mm -hmm. politics is a funny thing. You cannot sit in a political position unless there are covenant, good or bad. A lot of people's mm -hmm. motives in terms of what the institution. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. the church in America is about to face one of the greatest persecutions. Wow. And I don't think the church already are Christian ready. ready. But we have the authority every single one of you to begin to pray for the will of God because what happened is that Christian is no longer focused on the kingdom on the things of God they start focus now on self Lord it's about me I yes. want an extra dollar Lord I want my papers mm -hmm. Lord I want my husband yes and none of them care about it yes you will get it but what's going to happen when you get it? You see? Because the Antichrist is putting all the system now together. Exactly. And the only thing can happen is we as Christians can pray and disrupt the cry out of God because the church is not ready. The, you see, Apostle, God has given us some, some clues and strategies. Right. And it's in the word, but if we're not reading the word, we won't find them. Yes. Because when he says to us, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat of its fruit. When he says, when he puts that in his word, Amen. he's also letting us know that we have the power to speak the thing so that it happens, that it takes place, so that he can act on it. When right. it's released, then we can act on it. And Apostle, we were talk you were just talking about the fact that, you know, the church isn't ready. Right. Not ready yet. No, the church Because the focus is on self. Yes. And I'm looking at something, and it's something that's important, right. uh, you know, in, uh, from my perspective. Um, not many may see that. But when you look in the book of Joshua, in Joshua chapter 3, and I'm getting right, somewhere, right. and yes. we're... And it's not the only book that says that right. anytime um, God's people are going into battle, anytime we're right, going to right. face something, uh, you'll find that um, there's a set of persons, there's a set, a group that must go first. We talk about Judah going first. We talk about, yes. we talk about the Levites and we right, talk about right. those things. And when you look, Apostle, when you look at the, the fact that there are those who are supposed to be in, in the in the uh, uh in the levitical order they're right. supposed to be the worshipers and the priests the leaders those priestly worshipers uh they a lot of them have shifted from the worship and the the praise and and doing it in the way that's supposed to go up 
to God in a particular way because you said the prayer that's supposed to be going up to him, what's supposed to be going up to him has changed. It's not yes. what he wants. Yeah, and so uh, they have, a lot of them are now focused on, yes. I want to get, I have a voice, I can sing or I can dance or I can do this. I want, I have a fan base. They're more concerned about a fan base. Yes. And um, the Lord was saying to me today that if mm -hmm. someone, uh, you know, have a business and it acts in general. Mm -hmm. Let's say all of you have a business, mm -hmm. right? Because some people don't know that the all business statics and strategy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. from the Bible. Exactly. Because God's all the principles that govern business. In the book of John, mm -hmm. in, in terms of the time and what he will do. Mm -hmm. Um in Matthew twenty, it mm -hmm. speaks to you about marketplace. The, 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 the marketplace mm -hmm. and um you know getting workers in the vineyard. Yes. And it also speaks of, you know, a lot of times people call themselves foundational people. Mm -hmm. Let's say you employ somebody at your workplace, that person begins to, to operate as if they are the foundational. Nobody can do with them. Mm, we can't that do is without, why, them. without them. That mm -hmm. is why sometimes organization they restructure because people that consider Holding themselves uh, with long years of service mm -hmm. that normally, you know, they can do whatever. So mm -hmm. in the body of Christ, when every person, or each time someone accepts the Lord and Savior, there is a contract that they are given, and each person's contract is different. So let's say you save um, this week, you are given a contract by God. Okay. Someone save next week, they're given a different contract. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, when you read Matthew 20, it said, you know, whatever, they, 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 you know. Is it not lawful they, they, for me they, to The master begins to check out what happened, yes. and he realized that some of them are idle mm -hmm. and uh, you know you have to complete certain yes. um, production you have a production target and mm -hmm. a time to meet yes. um, the organization yes. amen and once you're not reaching up to the goals and objective of an organization mm -hmm. then the board of directors gonna begin to pressure the manager Come on. now the Holy Spirit is mm -hmm. the, the operating officer he can operate the church easier mm -hmm. on the earth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, there is a time very shortly when the holy spirit will begin to restrain it begin to pull yeah because the main fact that mm -hmm. chaos don't take place the holy is because spirit the holy spirit is restraining is restraining that's it amen yeah because the holy spirit going to restrain and you're going to see man get wicked some of you mm -hmm. crying oh, no. we're talking about the raping and they're killing people and people mm. sinning and bathing as if they are, especially yet. what happened in California mm. and different places in the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit, the main fact that the Holy Spirit is still here is because of the saint. Mm -hmm. And he's urging the saint to begin to work. Yes. Now what happened in that scripture, you realize some uh, idle, but what happened is that the operation manager begin to change the strategy and start to go out mm -hmm. and employ different people at a particular hour. Yes. Amen. He, he said, was doing it systematically too. Right. Not only that, but he was changing changed. the contract. Mm, yes. Because he gave one one contract and he used a term, a contractual mm -hmm. term, and said, You go and work mm -hmm. and whatever is right. I'll give it that's, to you. I'll give it to you. That's yes. an open that's contract. That's a different contract yeah. because right? at the beginning it says, yes. and when he agreed, he says, they agreed for a penny a day. A penny so a they, day. So they had a, a specific set amount. Right. But then the others, he said, whatever is right, I'll give it to you. Amen. So that's so two different contracts. Your contract and my contract is different. Different, exactly. So never compare yourself. Exactly. Now, after he must do an evaluation mm -hmm. of the operation, mm -hmm. he realized that the, you know, the, 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 the production is not yeah. going out there fast. And, and Apostle, yes. right there, I just want to, 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 to touch on this. Right. We have to recognize that yes. when it, the manager... Or the owner right. of the business mm. knows what is at stake. At stake. But the laborers don't know exactly. all of that because information. As supervisor, if you mm. don't ensure mm -hmm. the work done, you will be replaced. Exactly. Amen? Exactly. And what happened, there is no difference within the kingdom. Because within mm -hmm. the kingdom, people believe that you can come and sit in church and behave all kind of way. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you behave good with your job, but you can you just go Anything to church, with the church when you feel like mm -hmm. you do as you... No, no, no. So it, then it, it, it go out again on the road. And Ooh. he said, it, it begin to adjust the hour. Mm -hmm. Because he know that the time is changing. Mm -hmm. And there is just one hour. Mm -hmm. So what he does is that he going to the marketplace, and when you look on the marketplace, 
the marketplace mean a lot because within a marketplace mm -hmm. everybody from different everybody places from all walks of life goes with through different there. stuff go to yes, the market yes. market is a place that we meet up and yeah. people from the all over the rich go there the poor go there the network so the ugly the, the cute everybody when you go in the marketplace you realize that there are people standing it changes the time uh -huh. the hour uh-huh yes it and changed that, the strategy, is, that is it right right the there. strategy mm -hmm. change mm -hmm. so it, it, when you go into the marketplace you realize that there are people standing idle still right not employed idle. not employed oh wow. my goodness that's a serious stuff yes yeah? so this mm. is also a message of those who call themselves christian yes Yes, if and this is the year of replacement. Employ, mm -hmm. and you believe that you are not producing within that oh organization. Oh my goodness! You will mm. replace. And listen, this is the year of replacement. Is what and there is saying. no such mm. thing as long. You're, you're, mm. you're in this thing long time. Yo, come on, and like so you nobody know can all replace the ropes. you. Come on, it's always something to learn. There is a one hour Christian. Yes. They are standing out there now idly. Mm -hmm. And God talking to them. And God talking to them. Mm -hmm. That is why end time leaders need to be in tune with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because this year, we have to do things different. Yes. We cannot do things di like, you know, like last year. Some church, mm -hmm. you would sit and plan. And you would go into a board meeting and you would fight. No, that done. You have to move when God says to move. Even if you alone go out there and do it. Because Come if you now. alone go out there mm -hmm. and do it, you will see other people that will help you. There is no sit and plan in this year. Yes, we just have to move. This is a year of action. You just, just have, have to, move. to move. Because the contract mm. change. Yep. The time change. Yes. And there is a one hour. Read that. Amen. Listen. And these one hour already, they have been training out there in hardship. They have been training out there and suffering. And all them just stand and nobody idle. And also. Even for free. And also, they, right. they were being trained. Yes. When the Christians, mm. the Christians who should right. have embraced them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, and shown them the love and tell them about the Lord. When the Christians were uh, ignoring them. Yes. Talking about them. Right, right. Pushing them out of the church when they had come in in their short this and their torn that. Yes. And you could have taken them in right. and said, come, Jesus loves you. Come and embrace them and then help them understand and go through the word with them. We were busy Amen. tearing them down and, and they were being trained through all of that to withstand the, 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 the speech, the negative things people would say and their skin got tough. And they are coming in. And, and, and some that, Christians are but scared. What Christians don't understand is mm -hmm. that there is no such thing as superstar mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Your concept mm -hmm. of what it is. Mm -hmm. God going to use do the greatest move mm -hmm. with unknown soldier. Because mm -hmm. the vineyard belongs to God. Amen. Amen. And if God put you in a place of position, even mm -hmm. to influence leaders... Mm -hmm. And you are not doing the right thing. Yep. God help you. Mm -hmm. You know the, re the, 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 the problem why the President of the United States in the position that he's in? Mm -hmm. Because he's surrounded. Of course, it is God who put him there. Yes. But because God showed us nearly mm -hmm. two, three years before. Mm -hmm. And we have it documented on the website. It's because we have to remember that Amen? God even rose up Pharaoh. Come on. Exactly. Now, mm -hmm. what happened is that <clears throat> there are people around him. Mm -hmm. But the question is, are they telling him what was his purpose and advisors his mandate? Advisors again. So advisors again. Mm -hmm. And God right now, deal with them hard. you know, they, we, we, we are in a position, if we don't pray, for a major abortion. Yes. And very yes. sharp. Yes, yes. Church, yes. a lot of church is going to shut down. My God. A lot of pastor will be forced to do some stuff that you never think of. That's because right. As, as, especially... The church, black church, white church, we don't deal with racial. Mm -mm. But you hear, the, you hear this now. God said, the black people, the black church, the black pastor, they need to forgive. Let it go. They need to allow that culture to go because at the end of the day, some of the biggest deception is coming through the black church. My God. Now we know we stepped on some toes and it doesn't even matter because we have to speak the truth of God. Amen. Amen. So, we are in the book of Revelation. Yes. And some of you may know because Revelation time. Mm -hmm. Most people don't read the book of Revelation. They are afraid to read it. Yeah. 
and because um, different people will tell you about you know about revelation now revelation is past present and future Let nobody tell you otherwise that is outdated hmm. because the bible is now under attack yeah the people it is not relevant and hmm. the devil is doing it because he know that this very book is true Mm -hmm. Revelation is part, present, and future. And you have to understand that it's one of the best books in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Because it's a time clock. It's the prophetic thing that tells the church what is coming, how to prepare, and what to expect. We know as Christians that if God would call the church home by rapture, mm -hmm. is that, um, you know, we are ready. And with all the pain that we receive, a time of joy coming. Yeah. Because yeah. the bride, the wedding Ooh. cake is there already. The, 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 the angels, whether it be Gabriel or not, is just like this. Because waiting. nobody, not even Jesus them said no. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't the Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. But the angel, he going to say, son, go and get my children. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine the angel in heaven? Because they're going to blow that. They're, they're, they're like going to sound the trumpet. And I remember mm -hmm. the word trumpet come back. Mm -hmm. Here we go, God. Looking at the father, and the father does do like this. Go and blow the trumpet. Uh, hey. Little God. Christian may say, Well, I'm busy, I'm going to work, I'm making some money, mm. but you're not ready, you're left behind. God and the no. rapture is real. Now, the Bible oh, said, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that the book of Revelation, the central message, mm. speaking about the Lord reign. It's, it also speaks mm. a deeper insight of the tactics and strategy of the enemy in the end time. Mm. Mm. They speak also of the <laughs> dragon. Amen. And even this week we realize everybody knows the dragon, which country. That mm. um, there is a problem in terms of the trade war. China is literally taking over the entire globe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. And most countries are now in <laughs> debt to China. They give them you know, a cheap loan. They say, take this because they know that they can't pay it back. We are on the verge of one of the biggest recession. The Lord already mm -hmm. said that Christians need to begin to stockpile mm. food, mm -hmm. buy deep and freeze and put up stuff years. because they're going to be revolt, they're going to mm -hmm. be recession, they're going to be more disaster going to come. And a lot of people, we literally see people going to have nothing to eat until they even want to eat their own children. Jesus. It happened in the Bible. Yes. So the book of Revelation tells us all about mm -hmm. these things. The plan of the enemy, the counterfeit trinity. This year there is a plan, what they call um, in, in, interfaith. Interfaith, where they, they, they're mm -hmm. trying now to put Islam and Christian together and saying that we are one. Amen. They call it Chrislam. And we have seen even the Pope going to different country under the, 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 the guidance of peace and say, let us come together because we serve the same God. No. Now, if you don't know the word already, as a Christian, then you're going to mm -hmm. be part of that deception that I take in The place. word of God, you know, Apostle. Amen. The word of God says to us, it's, yes. this is, it's in Luke 21, it's in Matthew 24, the word yes. of God says, take heed that Amen. you do not be deceived right if we don't know what the word of god is saying then deception can take place will take place then also we have one of the greatest apostasy taking place the methodist church recently hundreds falling away they are split mm -hmm. because one side believe and other churches are now splitting that um certain sexual like same-sex marriage the church must have the right, you know, to mm. perform whatever marriage and you can do whatever you need. And we have seen the church, you know, overrun because what happened mm. is that the last recession that took place between 2007 mm. to 10, a lot of church were not walking by faith. And because of that, a lot of them have taken grants and different stuff and they get caught up. And, and guess what? They have allowed different people to come in. They were bought mm -hmm. within their congregation. Yep. And some of them have made contracts even for buildings and different Jesus. stuff. Mm. And now they can't deal with it. Exactly. Because whatever contract you, you, you make with the enemy, 
You have to repay He's that gonna come calling. The enemy is going to decide how your organization run. So the book of Revelation speaks of the beast or monster symbolizing the reality of the Antichrist government. We have seen an Antichrist government coming, even California. They are planning to jail pastor. Amen? Unless they preach a particular way or a particular sermon. No, what happened is that this Antichrist government and political power, what they are doing? They are seeking different people to put in position. Mm -hmm. So even your political rep, you have a right and authority mm -hmm. to find out who fund them, what they believe in. You okay. don't just vote, sir, exactly. regardless of what. But you are so much Democrat or so much Republican that you're blind. That you will vote for anybody. Because you're born that way. The you are not be seeking God, not to through the, the eyes of God. Mm -hmm. Your allegiance it is to, to be God. God. It cannot be because the book of Revelation speaks to us about our allegiance. Yes. And we are coming to that. I'm going to tell you what the mark means. Because a lot of you are looking for a 666. You may not see that number. Amen. When they speak about six, you have to understand what six mean. Yes. Right? Six mean image, mm -hmm. sin, carnality. Yes. Tell it. Amen. Yes. What it mean? Allegiance. Exactly. So if you decide tomorrow to form allegiance or covenant to someone to take money, then literally you are now binded because what the enemy is after is your soul. That's exactly. Amen. So once your soul tied up into a covenant or contract, you're on your way to hell. That is one of the reasons why even, the Lord even people that normally take unequally. food stamps and stuff no. like those. Mm -hmm. We are praying for Christians to get their business. Mm -hmm. Because if you take food stamp welfare, or, or certain okay. welfare and know it wrong and we must help the poor and stuff like that, don't remove it from the poor. But there are people that God wants to pull away because very shortly Mm -hmm. They're going to say to you, because you take we this. want to cut out welfare, but because you take this, you gotta take that. then you have to take that. Hmm. You hmm. have to give certain information. It, it is Quid in place pro now. Quo. Amen? Hmm. That is happening. So, the Antichrist government and political power, um, together, they produce ultimately deceptive and seductive anti-Christian secular society. Hmm. So, the, the, the society is going secular. Mm -hmm. A society and a system without God. Because understand people. Amen? If it's God put you in power, you automatically gonna want the things of God. Okay. If the enemy put you in power, you're gonna push the mandate of, of the, the enemy. enemy. Exactly. So we have two set of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ch the, the, the child of God. Yes. And the, uh, uh, and the children of Satan. Mm. Understand people. Mm. There is no middle point. There is no two ways about it. No two ways. You either going to be a child of God who is going to do his will. Or you are going to be a child of Satan who is going to do his will. And you know apostle. Uh, it is something that I am glad right. you brought that up. Because yes. the Lord was reminding me earlier. And before we came on. Mm. The Lord was reminding me. That. The, the the nation the nation the direction that the nation goes is determined by the direction the king has chosen to take right um so so that if the king and as we we see it in the scriptures if there was a a, a, a an evil king so right. to speak one then that followed Baal right. and so on then the people of the nation also followed what the king was doing because the laws are made by the kings they are passed by the kings I know that, but and, uh, and those are on them very well very well. but what you have to understand mm -hmm. is that the reflection of a nation is the reflection of is a reflection that's of a that's where leader. i'm headed that's where i'm headed or the reflection of a church exactly when the the light of the church begin mm -hmm. to go out darkness begin to take over exactly so the reflection of a nation is a reflection of a king so if you put a king to rule or perverted, regardless of which side or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing. That king only intention is to put the agenda mm -hmm. of the God that they serve. Exactly. But then it also brings me to the realization that the, while the king can serve all those other bears right. and so on, yes. and then turn the nation in that direction because the, the, the people have to follow the, the laws that the king passed. Exactly. It's also, God is also giving us the clue because 
we have the capacity yes. to decree the thing. Mm. So the church, the church has the capacity, the power, the authority yes. to steer. So we need to pray for the king. That's why the Lord said in His Word that we must pray for for the leaders, right. leaders of nations. What most, can declare what, these things? What happened is that most of the church leaders mm. have divert away. Yes, true. From the core principle. Yep. Yep. Amen. Of salvation. Mm -hmm, Realize mm -hmm. that salvation don't even preach. Yes, it's true. Because everybody will well, want a motivational anymore. message. Mm -hmm. So you have someone you in your church good. dying, mm -hmm. going to hell, and living a double life. My God. Because guess what? Most of the pastors, what happened is that they are, uh, align themselves to political representatives. Everybody wants to be a friend mm -hmm. with the politicians. Now, when they become friends with the politicians, they begin to put it on their card. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, some of them begin to say, well, I know that politician and I can help you and you mm -hmm. come and join with me. And you I know that politician because I can go and do that and that and that. And it's no longer souls. Likewise, the prophet mm -hmm. no longer prophesy truth and righteousness mm -hmm. of God. Yeah. You are prophesying you can get a house, you can get a car. So there is no repentance anymore. Mm -hmm. So our church become corrupted. True. Amen. Because when the world must follow the church, the church is following follow the world. world. Children of the world. And we become brilliant. So we have a brilliant church oh my God. that we need now to that speak we... salvation. Because by right, salvation must be speak to unsaved people. But now you have to be speaking mm. salvation message to Christian because Christian Jesus. backslide. And they're still coming mm. to church. Yes. Jesus. So. The, 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 the book of Revelation is speaking about a, a secular society. And if you realize, the secular society right now want to cut out everything out of exactly. the church. They begin to put law, they call it, um, um, not charismatic, um, political correct. Politically correct. They can't talk, talk Say the right anymore. word. When the Bible tells us in Matthew 24, there are right. those who are going to be offended, but we they, don't want to offend. Yes, they begin to, mm. to, to cut out um devotions mm -hmm. worship out of the workplace Kick the bible out. then they begin to put new age stuff a lot mm -hmm. of workplace no longer pray mm -hmm. but you can meditate which is not of god you are taking demons because it's new age philosophy mm -hmm. they begin to say to you well you, you have to stigmatize a lot of people can't even get a job no oh my god because you have to go through certain interview mm -hmm. before you go in and you have to agree in a questionnaire that you agree with xyz mm -hmm. so very short the christian don't have no job otherwise you have to agree to certain stuff which you call allegiance to certain stuff you know it's a serious thing going on now. but apostle yes you realize they don't even have to go into the church right to say or do anything Right. Because who is at the workplace? When they cut devotions out and they tell you no to the Bible and don't mention Jesus at the workplace, right. who goes to work? Christians go to work. People who go to church. Christian, 90, so if they can get them at work, the they will bring it into the church. Right, and that's exactly what they have Christian done with the control, yoga and all these things. Yeah, Christian control 99%. Mm. Because very few Christians have Christian business. My God. So they know that once Christian come in, Mm -hmm. Christian have to confine to the things of the world. Yep. Amen. So very short, you can't even stop. pray. Mm. Most you can't pray anymore. You can't Nothing. even do it publicly. Amen. Because it now become part of the system. Mm -hmm. So the enemy cutting everything out. Yep. yep. You would never know the United States of America would do so much good. My God. For Christian, you mm -hmm. can't preach the Bible in some state anymore because mm -hmm. they're ready to arrest you. It's offensive. And it's offensive. And they, <laughs> right. You know <laughs> so the. The book of Revelation also speak about Babylon. And each time you hear Babylon, when I was growing up, I thought the Rasta man was speaking about Babylon and you think it's police. They are speaking about or whatever. Mm -hmm. Babylon means a system without God. That's a right. nation without God. Yes, yes. That means yeah. they begin to put system in place that oppose God. Understand people. Mm -hmm. That is what they're speaking about Babylon. They start to have a thing. They begin to build without God. Now, mm -hmm. it is the responsibility of every Christian to understand what mm -hmm. is for God versus what is not, not for, for God. God. And it is key, all of you that are learning to, 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 to be in line in terms of what is happening. Right. Because even things that they want to change with a nation, when they can't change it, because they understand that the majority of the people 
in some countries mm -hmm. like the Caribbean, like Jamaica or mm -hmm. Guyana or mm -hmm. different people, they are Christian within the Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, what happened is that the, the Antichrist that he does is, is begin to change laws mm -hmm. within the parliamentary. At parliamentary They're not even going to the people anymore. No. So even if the people within the nation disagree for certain things to happen. It's already done. I mean, hmm. the people have no say. Exactly. Because they are changing it. So, and they're dangling Above carrots the people over one yet. side. They're dangling carrots because and food over one side. Because most of them are, are, are being promised, even mm -hmm. some of the representatives mm -hmm. there, that come in. It's not even the Positions, representative that God wants. Power. Position, power, mm -hmm. money. I will take care of a clinic for you. I will give you some I'll stuff for sure the human rights. Mm -hmm. And I will promote you and I will... What do what to you? Mm. You are the next person, and they slap you on the back. But, but you know, or they will say, right, let us push something about gender right because mm. women, you know what, this, that. They care nothing about women. No. And it starts from the Garden of Eden. Just like Absolutely. when the devil come into the garden and begin to speak to Eve, mm -hmm. how much he, he mm -hmm. loves her, he exactly. care, and Eve should not do that because you don't listen to God. I want you to, to know the truth. Lies. And I want you to know the truth. Lies. Amen? Hmm. But as soon Deception. as he fall and choke the garden, you realize what happened? Problems. Yep. Because her eyes open. But her eyes open to nakedness and what it does it begin now, the, you, you begin to have to, you know, suffer pain or different stuff you're taking on, my God Almighty, yes. that you never before, you're in mm -hmm. problem now because the enemy catch you. These are some of the stuff. So, the book of Revelation, understand people, that it never written in whatever order they put it. Just like how when John was speaking about the seven churches, mm -hmm. and the seven churches deal with the seven different type of whatever you know. Um, because I'm trying to break it simple to you, right? Um, you cannot read the book of Revelation it's and say mm -hmm. that we are at that point then, or that that point and, and if the seal is not broken, no. Most of the seal are broken already. Wow. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because the Bible speaks to us about certain <laughs> stuff that happened never in history. We have so much demolish taking oh place. In, 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 look, look what happened in Australia. Over 100 million animal die already Jesus. it is still burning in the amazon in yes it was in two the, million the, the other um the, the other country bolivia Bol in right. bolivia yes the fire is there the, the, the fire there over one billion animal die mm -hmm. right now we are on course and some of these are species that are right. were, were on the verge of extinction anyway and some weren't even um in other places it's just right there Exactly. They've been wiped out. Wiped out. Amen? So, we're on course now for a major famine and starvation. Not just famine and starvation, but what happened is that one of the things that the Lord revealed is all of a sudden you realize that they plant. Mm -hmm. And this is not something that I'm saying. If, if you could find it, to read it to them. Which one? This is something that the United Nations is now reporting recently. Particularly within the poorer countries like the Caribbean and, and mm -hmm. places like Africa that their disease is now killing off all the banana and certain fruits. My God. So very shortly we don't have it because banana and certain fruit, especially the poorer country, that is what we live on and that is what, what we export. So very shortly, um, whichever country have the most um, food is the king. My and God. if all our food are dying off, mm -hmm. then automatically starvation is going to come. When starvation start, nobody allegiance to whether sex no, or religion. No, listen, the, when you're hungry, you don't care who feeds you, you just want exactly. something to eat. So whosoever control the money, mm -hmm. going to control. Mm -hmm. And just like how Christians don't like to give or to work, oh you're going to see the other um, religion that have billions of dollars in oil mm -hmm. begin to come into the nations. Mm -hmm. They are doing it already. Mm -hmm. If you switch... I think in Canada, yes, for a particular religion, about about you will get $1,500. Mm -hmm. When man hungry, man have no allegiance. The enemy planet, no, you know, we need to ask a question. That, that, that's really our cultural thing. Which one? Um, before, mm -hmm. we, we, we used to use what we call the fertilizers, you know, organic, you know, organic fertilizers. 
everything was okay. But now most small countries like the Caribbean countries, um, region, the African and different places, they're using um, fertilizer that we import from different nations. Our soil is being destroyed. You never know whether or not it's sabotage. You never know what's going on. Mm. So we are in crisis now. Particular the Hispanic South, you know, we, we see yeah. what's happening in South America, the Caribbean, Africa, what's happening in oh. Australia. And Apostle, we have to remember that there are nations that are using yes. the smaller or developing countries as their testing ground. And if they can get the allegiance yes. of those smaller nations, by the time they are done, everybody else just pretty much has to, have to say, and, and you, you know, we yield. I, and we have to be careful. We have to watch you know those things. Is that most politicians are lazy. Mm. Amen. They don't want to operate by faith. As you put a little cash before them, they say yes, they jump yeah. on the bandwagon. Because what most, most, most leaders are looking to is about their legacy. True. They are not looking at anybody else's legacy or what. They are thinking about themselves or great them is. But they are not looking at the pain and the problem ahead. Exactly. That's right. Some of what the um, United Nations is saying. You will see what's going on. You don't understand what's going on. We're on the verge of chaos. Amen. Everything is now coming. Yeah. And you know, think as there's Christian, global we wastage. Yes. We're talking about global waste that's taking place. The food loss, the levels of food exactly. loss are way and, up. And um, one of the things that the Lord said to us is that the the very water that we are drinking is polluted and contaminated. Be, mm. And most of the sickness that we are going through within our body. The Lord said, cause from the, the plastic bottle. Right. We have to ensure that we cut out that plastic bottle. Because some of them are deliberately poisoning the people. Because not, you know, for greed, you know, not proper sanitation. Amen. In terms of money, because everything is money. People are dying. Yes. I want you to just read this statistic. 14% of the world's food is lost. Amen. After harvest. Yes. And in addition to that, one third of the food, the world's food is lost or wasted every year. One oh, third, wow. one third of the world's food. Mm. So, so one third is not a puzzle. We're not thinking about 10 pounds of food. Right. This is billions, maybe trillions, quadrillions. There is such a number, yes quadrillions of pounds of food that's being wasted one third mm -hmm. every single year diseases my god right in different so, places in in north africa in north america in europe australia new zealand we're talking some of them are up to 20 percent uh, uh, one fifth even a quarter of the food that they have right. they are producing they are growing so agriculturally is being the, lost. the book of revelation mm -hmm. and uh, you know speak about the the six seal um that will take place at the end time and they, it, it start first but it speak to you about different horses mm -hmm. because uh, a mm -hmm. lot of people are getting dreams about different mm -hmm. horses mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. the different horses mean mm -hmm. and uh, first of all it's speaking about mm -hmm. the black horse and some of you see it in terms of what will happen the bible didn't tell you how um, but mm -hmm. it tell you that um, these horses are going to be visible in the end time because what happened mm -hmm. there are instructions that are given within the book of revelation so mm -hmm. let, let us say um, there is a what you call um, like something that is a seal, I think it's a, a Revelation scroll. 5, like a scroll. Okay. And the Bible said, when the scroll open, mm -hmm. what happened? You begin to see the manifestation of the prophecy uh, that is to come. Okay. But what happened is that people are looking for end time prophecy to take place in a particular way. Yes, it's true. Uh, I mean, and but that that's is what why we've been taught. That's, that's how we were taught. That's yes. not true. Mm -hmm. So it, it speaks about the rider of a black horse, which symbolizes. Really? With symbol of economic disruption mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that gonna take place. Um, very shortly, you're gonna see Wall Street shaking down. Another company gonna go down, mm -hmm. and it's gonna go down more than one way. Not just um, um, the plan, because what happened? God has given these people what we call grace and favor, and they were yes, making yes. billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this money that they were using was not using to the glory of God or even mm -hmm. feed the poor. They uh. used these money to push. 
an antichrist agenda, agenda yes. that was coming against God. Yes. But the question is, um, if, if you are putting pull, pushing an antichrist agenda to coming against God, mm -hmm. what do you think God is going to do? <laughs> because God can't win, you know. God, you know, he God can't lose. more people, sorry, most people going to God know that most people, you know, mm -hmm. going to go to heaven. So the devil want to win. Mm -hmm. So all the devil want to do is to change laws and times. That's you know? Exactly. That's why you see a lot of law changing. So what God going to do? God going to say, all right. The, the, you know, my true people are suffering. Mm -hmm. You are making billions. The poor is suffering. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you grace and favor. Mm -hmm. The main fact that your organization mm -hmm. still open mm -hmm. is because of my yeah. God grace and favor. Mm -hmm. So God's going to begin to say, away. So with all that CEO they're going to get, the PhD and whatever, it's going to go down and it's crush a, right before them. Apostle. Because God has to do it. He said, Babylon is falling. Apostle. And we're going to look on Revelation 18 to understand the system of Babylon when it falls. Because most of the billionaires mm -hmm. and the stuff that you see is not that they're good. Mm -hmm. you, you, you'd you be surprised what they're doing. <laughs> Some of them is not in business them running. It's mm -hmm. drugs them running. Oh it's my not God. me set up. Right it's there. Revelation set up. Exactly. You're talking about the unclean demons and stuff that they're doing mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. God going to expose. So, mm -hmm. what up? When he's speaking about the black ass, it means yes. symbol of economic disruption. Mm. That means famine, high cost. You're going to have so high cost of food. Inflation and all those things are going because to be Because when you even look at the United States of America, the North Carolinas and different places where food used mm -hmm. to be, mm -hmm. it's still underwater. It's yes. been damaged yes. and most still yes. coming. So, so they're running out of food. So very short, everybody have to go to China. But, but look, and go. Also, Apostle, yes. even with the fires, I'm going to show you something. Um, I'll show you all something. Even with the fires in Bolivia, the fires in the Amazon, the fires right. in Australia, what's happening too, we have to recognize that everything is connected. Yes. And we have to understand that the... I looked and I saw where some where lizards were burnt out, the monkeys, the frogs, and, the all of them. and some of us, especially us, maybe us ladies, I don't know, we would say, boy, okay, they're killing the frogs, we're good. We're good. What but guess saying? what? The frogs, remember that there are frogs that eat insects, the insects that bite us. There is Not a food idea. change and a cycle. The right. lizards eat some of the insects, the mosquitoes and stuff that bring that carry diseases. That, that we the, keep the, getting plagued with all the, the time, the, the dengue and the, all those things. The bees is running. The bees, tell and them. they the have been the consumed. Bees. The caterpillars that right. turn into butterflies. Mm. That they eat up all the the, 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 the flowers, the things that, that we, that may, that may harm us in some way. We, it's an ecosystem and we are all connected. Because and when the fires burn out the trees, Apostle, it right. means our oxygen supply is being affected. And it means that there are diseases that oh, are going yes. to... It is, and heat, I remember hearing too, that heat also um, causes um, diseases right. to spread more. Yes, yes. right but now. cold kills them right all. Now there's, a, there's a disease that breaks out in China. Mm. There are a lot of people worrying about it. It's a serious disease. Mm. And it is spreading into other countries. Oh my God! Amen. Now the question is, where are they going to get some of medicine? It means on the one set of people will we'll be, be able, able to access it to access Come on. healthcare. That's why we need the healing ministry on, to people. rise up. That's why the healing ministry mm. has to rise. It has to come. It because has to come. People are going to suffer so much. It starts Jesus. already. Mm -hmm. That only the evangelist, the missionary in the field, mm -hmm. they have to depend mm -hmm. on. Now, also, when you look mm -hmm. on the black ass, it's speaking about debt. Um. The wages yes. of people gonna cut down. Oh people, yes. People gonna glad for their mm -hmm. pay to cut just to have a job. Mm -hmm. So 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 wages gonna reverse. Yeah. It's not gonna go up. Yep, My yep. God Almighty. Jesus. It, it, it's, and then guess what? They won't be able to coming. afford any food. Wheat and barley, which is food symbolic. Oh Jesus. Right. The oil, the wine, symbolic of luxury. Mm -hmm. Life means famine. It's coming because mm -hmm. the famine is gonna be a global famine. Yeah, because some household are gonna be out of a job. Plus, it's different kinds of. And family. they're gonna tell you that mm -hmm. you can't work unless you agree to mm -hmm. X Y Z. Mm -hmm. So most Christians no longer going to church because they have to work around. And guess what? You cannot survive mm -hmm. if you are not going to church <laughs> because the Bible said, "Do not forsake the assembly of the brethren." Mm -hmm. Amen. 
You absent from church three weeks out of the presence mm -hmm. of God. A corporate You're not anointing. You're getting that corporate pouring, pouring on. You literally start you. to backslide. Come on now, man. So very shortly, it is better for a person to say, listen, I'm walking away from that job. Mm -hmm. I'm rather going to church. Yes. Amen. Because when your soul starts to go down, you're opting to be a slave Apostle. to the enemy. Yes. And earlier, when we were talking, it came up and it's coming back again. Right. Which there are many who treat the church, the house of God, the people of God, Last year's like out. it's no big deal. Abuse yes. the men and women of God who take, who dedicate their lives to going before God, to pray for you, to talk to the Lord about you, to help you. But yes. here's what the Lord said to me. The first shall be last and the last first. And what he meant by that, and what he does mean by that is this. A lot of people put their work first. They put their job first. Right. But they put the church last, the, the exactly. house of God last. Yes. And we know what happens in Hosea and Ezra and all those uh, books. And, and, and so the Lord is saying that there's going to come a time the, the, the way you've been treating the house of God and it's the people like, of God, the tables are going to it turn. Has, and what you've been running to is what you're going to be has, running from. So that job you're running to, you might just be running from it to find refuge in the house of God. Because what happens? Some of them um, have treated the house of God in a particular way. Yep. If you mm -hmm. if you don't go to work, mm -hmm. you have to call in yes. or present a sick. But you decide, I don't feel like you going don't have today. to come I'm to church. You have to come to nobody. And we're talking about leaders. And you know what happened? Oh my goodness! God is it, it's already flipping mm -hmm. because most mm -hmm. times people mm -hmm. only see the value of the church yep. when their life That's is right. being threatened, whether death or something. It's, it's changing. True. It's true. I mean, this is the year mm -hmm. you you're gonna see. Because a lot of people believe that they are still in twenty in last year when the when clock strike. At least the first of December coming into January, everything Jesus. changed globally. Absolutely. Amen. So mm -hmm. the next us it speak about is the pale us, ah. and some of you are getting some vision. The pale us um, <coughs> symbolize disease and death. death. We have, we see it already. A lot of disease is just breaking out. Them say disease that they can't explain, even disease from Bible time. Mm -hmm. And as I speak about the eat, mm -hmm. the Lord said to me again, the eat spreading yeah you know a lot of disease you know because the nation is small you know it just connected mm -hmm. one person gonna fly to a next country and bringing a disease everybody yeah. affected um i thought I mean, about that you just think about i that. thought about but that if the chinese is all mm -hmm. over and they're going to different country whatever they need disease affect them is automatically they affect all, they those need to, all people need now, to really shake their hair so 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 the pillar mm -hmm. symbolizes of disease death Mm -hmm. Devastation yes. that will break out and shortage of medication. My God, that will take place. Mm. Amen. Wow. Because right now, within the ocean, even this week, <coughs> billions of fish are dying <coughs> without them know. The small fish, they have no idea. The big fish, they say they have no idea what's happening. And you know, Apostle, uh, even because the ocean now become. A, a war place, it's they're like building stuff bin. under there, they're fighting, they're doing mm -hmm. all kind of stuff mm -hmm. under there. The fish are dying. They said the birds are dropping out of the sky. Jesus. That means the atmosphere. The is atmosphere so is something Potently like polluted. Uh, amen. And, and remember, I remember years ago, a few years ago, we had the Lord allowed us to prophesy, I think it was uh, um, Bishop Hutchinson and yourself. The, the, the Lord had said through Bishop Hutchinson that the atmosphere many more people would be affected by breathing, respiratory issues. Right. And we, from that time, we've I, been seeing the increase of those respiratory I, issues. Eye and skin problem because yes, all those. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, sir. And we have seen an increase in eyes and And you know problem. what? We're, right. we're saying that we're taking, or we're taking omega-3 and omega this, and where do they get it from? From the fish yes, in the sea. They, from the fish oil. Yeah, they, most of the fish are contaminated. Exactly. Because of what? Because even nuclear waste. Mm -hmm. Is affecting mm -hmm. the ocean, so and it's beginning to contaminate the fish. And the Lord have been speaking mm. to us that the different country need to begin to, you know, monitor the fishermen. Yes, and begin to test the fish because these things are coming in. Um, a lot of the stuff, even the tin things that we are now eating, are oh, now yes. poisonous yes, because they're, they're, everybody mm -hmm. making money and there is no whatever they and, take, and, and they don't care it by if people die things. because if you're sick. I mean, what happened is that the medication, medi uh, pharmaceutical company benefit, mm -hmm. the doctor get rich or whatever, right. you die. Amen. So mm -hmm. the pillar symbolizes death, devastation, 
Um, that will break out a shortage of medication that will take place and more problem within the ocean, mm -hmm. more fish dying, right? Yep, yep, yep. You know, we are seeing that happening and the, the, the you know, the devastation. God. And it said literally uh, a fourth, you know, over a fourth um, of the globe oh, will be goodness. devastated. I mean, the, the number 25 four. 25% of the earth. Right. The number four is, is, is very important, even more than the number six. Don't watch the yep. number six. Because everything built on the number four, balance, sign, season, yep. The four the day, four. what happened, the cost, everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Amen. Mm -hmm. So four is also dealing with balance. Then we have now the, what you call, we talk about the pay loss. The next sauce is what? The white horse? The, the, um, the, the black white horse. horse. The, we did the black, black horse. horse already. Mm -hmm. The white horse And now, the red one. The mm -hmm. white horse symbolizes international power and politics. <coughs> mm -hmm. oh, that means a lot of politicians now, they have been allegiance with different organizations, mm -hmm, different mm -hmm. things to put them in power. And it speaks of military conquest and global deception. My God. Um, uh, this week alone, you have to understand, people, Russia have a weapon there that they say they can, it is faster than what? Sound. Hmm. Um, and and they, sound. Literally, they are saying that they're ready for any country. <laughs> they are taking over the entire globe, Russia. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about Gog and Magog. That's all the, the countries that, that is, is there already. Mm -hmm. um, when the prophecy fulfilled last year, when Iran, Turkey, and, uh, and Syria, Syria. And, um, and Russia have a meeting together, and all of them is there, and you have seen the United States pulling out, which we say at the time that a great mistake they should be. That was the beginning of prophecy because they are coming together. Russia is now taking over the region, mm -hmm. and uh, they are preparing. For Israel. Mm -hmm. Understand people that all eyes on Israel. All of this is in is the and That is why Israel being prepared fulfilled. and it is in the world. Mm, that they will come from different directions. They are there already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even last week, the the, 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 the the Syrian president, you know, you see what Syria repairing in, 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 in end time prophecy. Mm -hmm. Laughing and joking with the Russian president that the president of the United States of America need to put him foot on the Damascus to get a, 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 a experience like Saul on the road of Damascus. Who said they are not reading Bible? Oh my goodness. Russia <laughs> just changed their constitution mm -hmm. by dissolve uh, an entire government. My God, don't you see what's happening? We have to, we have that to. That is about end time people. Mm -hmm. China is taking over the place. They are sending now a force in space. They are competing now. Come on. Who the space belong to, the year mm -hmm. belong to. They're ready to fight up there. Jesus. Understand what's going on, people. Mm -hmm. The United States of America just come out with a weapon that they can hit any country in one hour from anywhere. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened is that the treaty that used to govern weapon is now yeah. removed because the United yeah. States pulling out because the United States said we have been tricked all these years because China and Russia you know, who's supposed to be signatory to it. Mm -hmm. We're making all the upgraded weapons mm -hmm. while the United States was downgrading uh -huh. their army. Come on, come on. And you know, even the past administration, they were downgrading oh army. So recently they realized mm. that Russia and China with mm -hmm. weapon is way ahead. <laughs> so United oh, States said, unless mm -hmm. we compete, we have to pull out and begin to make some more dangerous no, no, weapon. No, no, I got Almighty. no. No, people don't even have to fight anymore. Mm -mm. Send soldier on the ground. Mm -mm. They know of, of, of things just put when, when the um, the weapon come. What they call it, the drone. I said this is the beginning. Amen. Oh, they are drones okay. and guillotine. Mm -hmm. They don't have to lick your church anymore. And somebody come. They just press a button, Jesus. and a drone come. Amen. That means any country can attack any country at any time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't you see what's going on? Exactly. So, so even when we look at all that is happening, we have to recognize all of these things are in the scriptures. And we need to know. That's why the Lord wants us to read his word. Right. You know, Apostle, I'm looking at something. Everything is, uh, you, you look at the back of the, made in China, made in China, everything. Okay. Right. Now, if, if everything is, made in China, um, then it means then that they know what is being sent to wherever who uh, asked them to make it. 
Right. If they have all of that information, they know what it is that is. So they know how to dismantle it and put it back together. They know how to make it work with for you or against you. We have to understand this is we are in serious times and there's nothing much that's private anymore when it comes that's to it, those because things. Especially um, if you look people, um, there's a law that they're pass, trying to pass recently because they're saying that Facebook mm -hmm. is no um, what you call um, the giant, they control everything. Mm -hmm. they got Instagram, Facebook, of WhatsApp, Instagram, Instagram everything. It's all there. And what they're doing, they're sharing information. They say even mm -hmm. when you delete your account, mm -hmm. Facebook is coming now with a currency. They're saying no, you don't even have to touch a computer anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Just an image, just mm -hmm. by a thought, something can happen. No, understand people, they're, you know, they have this thing now. Um, and it's very serious. Have you ever gone on the computer and uh, you just do a search within the search engine? Mm -hmm. Let's say you search for a white shoes. Mm -hmm. um, by five or so minutes, you're getting a call on your phone or you get an email. Or it pops up in your social media. Pops up to buy white shoes from this at place. At this place, that place. I said, on the God of my heart, how do they know that? Geomarketing. Amen. All of that connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And now they are trying to split up Facebook. They are fighting in court because they are saying that the enemy is going to use them. They are, you know, you see what happened with Netflix recently. Yes. Because they are yes. testing. Because yes. they are utilizing yes. it. That they are yes. saying Netflix is the next thing. You have what they call Alexi. Amen. Alexa and Alexa, Siri. Alexa, and right. All. And see all of those stuff. Now, when you speak in your house, there is nothing private mm -hmm. because it recorded. The FBI, the police are using it now. To, to, to solve crime and and also and every, even with the even with connected. the and some of you even with the browsers that we use right the browsers some of you everything you put on social network you, every little thing you see come you see a face when I'm you here, see how, I'm here, how I will I'm look there. in the next twenty years how you will look young and why which artist, would you do that they already get your information exactly. your facial everything you're in trouble so facial and recognition you so your facial face recognition is they are put in there. So we have to pray mm -hmm. because everything you go on Facebook and you see a jump and you don't pray and ask the Lord, should I do it? Mm -hmm. Amen. So you begin to do these things and they begin to rock it on mm -hmm. you. It's, mm -hmm. it, 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 understand and you wonder and you, and you get angry when they have your information, but you put mm -hmm. it out there. Right. So you know? we, we, we look at the White House now. Let us look at the White, uh, okay. white House, um, what it symbolizes. Yes, because about the book the, of Revelation, the Bible always use symbols, the signs, power, the and numbers. Power. Amen? Mm -hmm. Now, the White House um, symbolizes symbol of international the power and politics. politics. That's what we've been talking the about. The church in yeah. bed now also with politics mm -hmm. in form of military conquest mm -hmm. and global deception. Amen? People are going to come that they favor the church, but they are not part of the church because the Antichrist going to gain power by having the support of the church. And that is mm -hmm. why the church must be careful. Which political, um, you know, or you, or you deal with politics because you will get deceived and some of you are going to be very disappointed. Amen? Because every politician have a price. Yeah. And because most of them are focusing on their personal legacy, mm -hmm. they will negotiate and get into covenant just to keep them in power. Mm. That's going to come against you. Amen? That is why you need to seek the Lord. <laughs> now, it also speaks of country that will be conquered through loans yeah. that are borrowing borrow from other countries. So let us say there's a recession now and you borrow from China or borrow from India or Japan or mm -hmm. United States of America, any country, because the, the uh, what we call the, 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 the World Bank and the, what, what's the other word, the IMF, IMF they are controlled by the, the most powerful countries. Mm -hmm. Uh, most of them in the security council. And apostle. All of them have money in there. You have to understand. They're the same country that you're born Please, in. Let us, let us also yes. make the point that we're not just talking about developing countries, borrowing right. from other countries. Right. Developed countries, first world exactly. countries, borrow from each other. Too. E e exactly. Mm -hmm. So it also speaks of warring mm -hmm. for countries mm -hmm. um, that keep borrowing loans. So many loans will be default and many countries will find themselves mm -hmm. in trouble. Mm -hmm. So when the recession come and default take mm -hmm. place, the first thing going to happen is what we call foreclosure. <whistles> foreclosure is not just on your personal on your house. houses. Right. Amen. They're going to take the airport, 
-hmm. They're going to take, take some national airline. important, what we call, infrastructure within mm -hmm. countries. Yes, the yes, water yes. gone, and mm -hmm. now they have the water. Uh -huh. It's your water, mm -hmm. your river, your beach. Your beach. And, and you can't go there. there. What does that mean, the Caribbean? Come on now. All the water and all the beach, God's everything water. gone. God's water. God's water. All mm -hmm. gone. The people have no longer access to it. In your own country, you can't go to the beach. Because what the enemy is doing is going out there and saying, listen, we know what's coming. We want to be super. Mm -hmm. We know that they can't this, they can't that. They, you know, so they sign this away. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. Because mm -hmm. what they're literally after mm -hmm. is that piece of land, like, that building, that the place. things that in the ground. Because some of them have nothing, you know, they're broke. Yeah, but, but they look smarter like they than ours. It look like they have something. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and also, Apostle, that they... They, there are also places within even the Caribbean that are strategically positioned. It's how, I mean, it's how God laid it out, but it's strategically, it, it, yes. it can give them strategic positioning in times of war where they can be in a particular place and even launch things from that point into certain nations that they want to conquer. Amen. It's so many things. The resources that are in the, the nation, they want to get it. So they can use it as a bargaining chip because some of them are absolutely void of resources because they've used Amen. it all. Here it is. It's, it said, according to report from, from Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, what they call FAO, mm -hmm. the Food, Food and Agricultural Food Organization, Organization, poor mm -hmm. country with rising population and scarce natural resources are likely to be increasingly dependent on import to feed their people mm. so starvation coming understand people starvation coming now what happened globally coupled with the pending disaster that will undoubtedly affect our culture worldwide let us know that mm. we are on course for a famine which should also trigger an economic recession farming and agriculture should be the number one priority in any country today. Mm -hmm. A lot of countries speaking mm -hmm. about economic this or stock market. Right, right. No, right. No, 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 nobody <laughs> wants to deal with stock market. No one. Yeah, and then when you have no food to eat. How much people have, have, <laughs> have even money to go in the stock market? <laughs> when you're working mm -hmm. and before you even collect your pay, that pay is finished. Quarter of it is gone. So it's just one set of people on stock market. Mm -hmm. Amen. The only you time God shaped the, the stock money, market. By the way. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's when God wants to get their attention. Mm -hmm. Not it, Lord. What poor people need, most of the normal person, because there is no more middle class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All they want is food, shelter, and water. That's all they focus on. Just a normal survival. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we we in problem now. Amen. Serious problem. Amen. Amen. So it said nation, particular Africa, Caribbean, if their more mean country which control food and food supply will become king. Hmm. It is similar to what in, transpired in the Bible when Egypt became the food of, of exactly. regions and all nations. Mm -hmm. And that's, just, that's, why, that's why I said My from God, the you beginning, there has me? to be a fear of somebody. You read um, Yeah. Is that because because of Joseph. Of Israel mm -hmm. himself mm -hmm. have to go to Egypt to, Egypt to look food. When God saying that we must not go to Egypt, uh, but Egypt have to become the deliverer. God help mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't Joseph, and that's why God that raised God the Joseph. That God set ahead. Come because on. we need the Joseph and, and the Daniel now. Mm -hmm. Israel will die for hunger. Apostle. Apostle. Yes. Like, like the, in the same way that Joseph's brother, or brothers, um, pushed him out because of who, you know, we know the story about Joseph and he right. told his dreams yes. and they pushed him out. Right? In this, yet, they he became their deliverer right from egypt in the same way that happened i believe that there are those that those in the body of christ have pushed out there were joseph that were they they pushed out because joseph didn't fit into their agenda how dare this person come and want to be in and they want to take over from and all these things and we've pushed out joseph so to speak but guess what? Mm -hmm. At some point, Joseph, we're going to have to, Joseph, rise up in the name of Jesus. Joseph, come forth. Because 
there is coming a time when the Joseph is going to have to be the one to stand and say, these are my people. Same ones that mm. rejected him. Right. So we have to be yeah, careful. Yeah. It said, farmers in poor country have been getting terrible eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. most are turning away from the farming mm -hmm. industry because they are getting very little support. Yes, yes, yes. From their government because yes, a lot of people yes. are leaving farming. Mm -hmm. And, you know, FAO um, documented that 83% of all drought caused economic loss that is 29 billion amen in our culture in addition to this between 2005 to 2015 the disaster that are causing uh, that are taking place even within the united mm -hmm. states of america 96 billion dollar what a damage that have been taken place of crop and livestock some of them don't even recover yet 48 billion which occur in Asia alone. People, a serious thing happened. Yeah. We have seen the book of Revelation. <clears throat> That's why God looked into us. I know that church don't teach these things in terms of, you know, different stuff. Mm -hmm. But Some there are serious it. things that's going on. Mm -hmm. Now, the book of Revelation also, what we want to speak about is that there are a lot of people um, may try to teach um whether or not christian will go to the great tribulation amen and that we will be raptured we will <coughs> not be persecuted and that's not true we're gonna go through the great tribulation mm -hmm. i can't tell you when god calling back because if you read matthew when they're speaking about the moon turning to blood a lot of people normally wonder you know what the bible is speaking about Mm -hmm. And the moon turned into blood was speaking about the the the, mm -hmm. the 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 persecuted church. That a time is coming where the church is going to be persecuted, because when the when 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 the when the moon begin to turn into blood, it signifies the persecuted church, and something that means something bright is turning to darkness. Because remember, the Holy Spirit is now restraining. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's just getting less and less. Yeah. It's pulling. It's pulling. It's people. Oh, mm -hmm. because of the chaos that's going to take place. Jesus. Amen. No, the falling star, because some of the time you get some dream. Mm. My God. And um, the <clears throat> dream that you receive, you will see like a star fall. And mm -hmm. the, the, the star fall speak of the, the apostate church. The apostate church is the church that is mm. falling away. Yeah. From truth. Falling away means they no longer, you know, uphold um, what is in the Bible. Yeah, they are yeah. making decisions now without the Bible. They are saying Finally. that they are priests. They can do this. They can do that. That is what we call the apostate church. Mm. It, it, it also speaks of the light of God and the rulership to reign. Mm. Right? The, the sky speaks because some of you are getting dreams and visions. And you see the sky, it's, um, it's speaking about above natural, it's speaking about the presence of God, it's speaking about high things of God, it's speaking about the glory of God. And God is showing you a lot of stuff um, in, in the sky. I remember last year, before last, you know, you know, we were at a building and instantly the Lord opened my eyes and I see mm -hmm. Revelation 11 in the sky. I was so surprised. In Revelation 11 speak of the the two witnesses amen yeah. and the two witnesses you know it, it carry a lot because the book of Zechariah wow. is a book that you need to read you now revelation daniel and Zechariah, and and um the the book of Zechariah normally speak of what we call um the the two witnesses and it's speaking about the jews and the mm -hmm. gentiles that both of us would come together because mm -hmm. by right the jews who deny that jesus um, is Christ and they are the one originally should be out there the fathers yes, to carry out yes, the gospel yes. but some of them still mm. looking for the Messiah when yes. the Messiah come already and uh, what happened is that very you're going to see the Jews and the Christian and it's happening already begin to come together to reap the harvest and, and right now there are things that happen in Israel recently in December they said the first in history that they allow a Christmas tree to be lit, lit. God. That never, yeah, amen. That's the first. God. So you are seeing if they allow it, the Christmas tree mm. in Bethlehem. There's the acknowledgement of the, the birth, of birth of Christ. Something is changing. Mm. 
Yes. Amen. Yeah. The, 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 um, the, what you call it, everything is ready for the temple to build. And a lot of them are saying that Trump is the one that's going to build the temple. Oh my God. The priest is in position. Mm. The red effer, and we're going to be teaching yes. what the red effer one of, yes, They sir. said a yes. prophecy already fulfilled yes. last year. Because of the red heifers were being born. Right. Born. Amen. Now, to build a temple, because they know the spot already is, is not, you know, hard. Because, you know, no, nowadays they have all the temple it. material, prefabricated yeah. thing. Exactly. They have the plan already. They just put it up. Um, last year, um, because Israel is going to the poll again. They've realized this is literally third to mm -hmm, the fourth election. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They literally do have a leader. Jesus. Uh, amen. Now, you have to understand that the, 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 the leader, a leader that's going to rise up in Israel, mm -hmm. going to embrace the Antichrist and get in a covenant God. with him. And then that's how they're going to get tricked. Oh, no, they don't want to be. Amen. They amen. Want you to don't be understand what's going on. <laughs> no, the temple is about mm -hmm. to build because some of the mayor. In Israel come out and said, listen, unless they promise them that they will they will advance the, 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 the temple quickly, mm -hmm. then automatically they are not voting and they are now coming um, this week even some what we call um, tribe, the last tribe mm -hmm. gone home because all the tribe returning no, to Israel. No, Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. yeah, amen. So everything is, is, is being fulfilled and the, amen, within the Bible itself. The the moon speak of the 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 you know the moon um no no the sun we're speaking about the, the moon already the glory mm -hmm. of God mm -hmm. the the uh, it also speak of the the when the when the moon turn into blood which you read in the scripture it talk about the persecuted church the sun speak of the light of God the truth and the Holy Spirit and the Bible said when the sun become dark. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I read that scripture a lot and I said, God, what does it mean? Because if some people believe it's physically, so be <laughs> according to Joel, you're going to see the sun out and it's in darkness. And some people, he's telling people that we don't understand. And the Lord mm -hmm. said to me, what it means is that the moon is always a reflection of the sun. The sun. I mean, people understand that. Mm -hmm. When the sun becomes dark, mm -hmm. what it means is that darkness means sin, the entire globe. You're going to yes. see some dark things taking over. Yes. And with that we see that that means the Holy Spirit is restraining and man become wicked. We have seen it already, you know, some stuff happening that we can't sure. believe it. When people begin to, mm. you know, come with a movie, to, you know, you know, don't, uh, you I, know, I don't uh, even want to you know, say those you know, words. promoting Satan, come with a movie, mm -mm. blaspheming against Jesus Christ recently Jesus, on Netflix. Please. Don't you see? Mm. This is the end. We have to, we have to open up. And eyes. it's only the Christian church, and this is why left that they can try it with. They will never try it with an next religion. Why? And that is the tactics. Because we are coming down with only two religions. Mm. And why even journalists are afraid to speak against one religion? Interesting. Interesting. Think about that tonight. Observe. Observe and discern. Understand what's happening, people. Amen. So we just, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot going on and there's a lot for us to know. So we, we, while others are there getting caught up with, I want that position and I want this position in a church setting, in your local church, there's no time to waste Amen. on things that are this trivial. We have to get our shoulders to the wheel. We have souls to reap for God. And we have to understand what's happening so we know how to move, how to function, and how to have the ultimate victory. Amen. There are many who need to understand. Please make sure that you share this with others so that they know and understand that there is more to being a Christian than just being sitting in a choir, looking cute, sitting up the front, or wanting to marry a pastor. But no, there is so much more. That Amen. we have to be looking and, um, at. One of the things that the Lord mm -hmm. said for all pastors as we come into an end. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And every Saturday we um, will be speaking on Revelation time. You know, Lord, mm -hmm. you know, say get back. We take a break and the Lord said we should get back to it. Urgent today mm -hmm. because time. It is the responsibility of every pastor to ensure that every single person within the church is on the street. Hmm. Even on some of the Sunday, Evangelize. Evangelize. we have to just have a service, a short service.
make the offering and hit the street because mm -hmm. we have to change the way that we do yes. things. Because things and time is now changing. So but it is not just like one thing. Time building up we building. also have to change with the time in terms of what coming. Mm -hmm. The next thing also is prayer. Prayer must be the number one focus within your church. And because a lot of time we put people on the pulpit who doesn't want to pray. And a lot of Christians don't want to pray, they don't want to come to Bible um, study. And if they don't want to, then they're not supposed to be in leadership. That's it. Amen. So pastors, you have to begin to mobilize the people. You have to understand that God, Jesus Christ, is now, you know, issuing, amen, the instruction to his people within the world to be ready. Christian, you have to ensure that you have a role to play. Mm -hmm. And instead you go on social network showing your pictures and this and that. Ensure that you share Jesus mm -hmm. because he is the center. I mean, I have no time to show off on social network when people are dying. The rapture is at the door. That's right. Amen, amen. Our souls are, are important Remember, and priceless. So to stockpile Every, stuff because yes, there's a famine coming. This water, non-perishable items, the sanitary stuff, whether it's the toilet papers, the wipes, and all these things. But go to our website, rwominc.com, yes. uh -huh. and you will also search through and you'll see all of the things that you'll need to have. Um, you can stockpile and all of that. And there are articles that are there that can help you to understand more of what's happening. Amen. And there are opportunities for you to help those who need to be helped. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got souls to reach. And we have got to remember that the king's business, requires our his. king's business requires him. Yes, there's a song said, <clears throat> my, my house, house is, is full. full. I don't know if it will be answering. But I, my feet are <laughs> empty. Who will go today? <laughs> So what God was saying is that the house is full. A lot of people want mega churches and this mm -hmm, and that. Mm -hmm. But it's very little. It's going in the field. And God is looking to you. Also, what we want to do now, if you're unsaved, we want to pray for you right now. We want to lead you to Christ. Because guess what? That mm -hmm. is all about soul. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible said, what it costs a man to gain the world and lose their soul. God is speaking to the unsaved. And some of you are getting dreams and vision. And God is saying this is a time for you to give your life to Him. Amen, amen. <clears throat> He's coming. And it is not difficult to get saved. The Bible said if you believe in the Lord, that He's Lord and Savior. Amen. That He died and He rose from the dead. And you confess with your mouth, you are saved. Amen. 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 So, amen. you know, begin to confess Him today. You are a backslider. This is time return. for you to return. Come home, because come the Lord home. said to me this year, most backslider will not get the chance to return. Because God is saying, backslider return now because the enemy will take you out. Amen? So I call in all the backslider. you in church and you used to be vibrant as a minister. And the oil is on you and you are no longer at the place. Mm. You need to repent oh, and return. Because you also will get cut off. Amen? Because God is now, you know, calling everyone to be ready. Amen. Uh, I just want to leave you with this. I know, um, I don't remember everything, uh, all the words of the song at this moment. All I can sing is the chorus, and it says this. My house is full, and my fields are empty. Who will go and work? For me today, it seems my children all want to stay around my table, but no one wants to work in my field. No one wants to work in my field. My house is full, and but my fields are empty. empty. Who will go and work for me today? It seems my children all want to stay around my table, but 
no one wants to work in my field. No one wants to work in my field. We're not going to stay in the house. We have to come out, go into the field because the harvest is white. And we have got to go. And so I just want to remind you uh, to, to stay not just in the word of God, but in the know. Seek the Lord as you read. What is it you're saying to me, God? Give me a revelation. Help me understand your word. And you can join us here on every Saturday evening. And so we'll be coming to you live every Saturday evening uh, uh, as far as possible from live, live and direct on Facebook so that we can talk about the things in the word that relate to what's happening in our world so that we can be ready. Amen? For his return. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's gone to prepare a place. He's coming back. Let's be ready when he returns. So thank you for joining Apostle Dr. Steve Liston and myself, Pastor Dr. Michelle Liston on Revelation Time. See you here next week, Saturday. And God bless you, cover you, keep you. Stay in his presence. Stay in the word. Get ready and stay ready in God. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. time has come for repentance and the time has come for us to preach the gospel don't be asleep arise and awaken don't be lazy be full of life will you accept it or will you reject it or will you smile each problem that we have the solution is always in the wrong way if you want to silence your enemies give and watch what the Lord will do. the economy infrastructure and getting a quick dollar while the family is left neglected to fall apart but there can be no true success nor can economies grow and nations flourish if the family fails until the family becomes the priority and the unity of the family is facilitated we will never achieve the sustainable development goals every nation seeks to execute Apostle Steve Liston's book, Family, The First Line of Government, is a solutions-oriented book which speaks plainly about the institution of family and the fact that people need to become knowledgeable and understand the purpose, value, role, and significance of the family, especially in relation to the fulfillment of God's purpose on the earth. It further reveals that the family is a strong, powerful, and influential tool with the potential to accomplish great things and bring change. While many countries are singularly focused on economic development to bring about change, the family has been neglected without the realization that breaking down this institution will ultimately lead to the destruction of a nation. Family, the first line of government, deals with issues that many discussing them from this angle shy away from. And this book helps us to understand that no nation can fully rise unless the family is whole. Get your copy of Family, the first line of government today. Available at Trafford.com, Amazon.com, and all leading bookstores. <laughs>